Okay, here we are back. <clears throat> Video three on the crank slider. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, get my... I want to do an angle constraint between these two parts. And what I want to constrain is the, uh, the datum planes. I'm going to go XZ plane there. Let's see. Can I turn it on? Yeah, visibility. Okay. And then I'm going to use a corresponding plane on the crank. So the XY plane. And I'll make those visible. It'll be a little easier to, uh, to see it and do that. So we're going to go constrain angle. And I want to make it a directed angle. Okay, so first selection is going to be the base. Second selection is going to be that one there. Now it defaults to zero, okay. Um, so let's just type in 45, okay. And that flipped it up, okay. So flip around my front view. Okay, so that's good. If yours didn't go up, if yours went down, then just put in a minus 45. Okay, and it will reverse the direction. Okay, and you see over here, it shows it up and you can change it here just by clicking on it and go down to the box down here. All right, but let's set it at... Uh, Let's set it at 15. Okay, so that's looking kind of good. And if you notice now, our assembly is fully constrained and nothing moves other than the pins will rotate. Uh, we can remember back when we did... Uh, degrees of freedom we can look at that and the only thing it shows is that the two pins can actually spin uh, they can actually rotate in there all right so that's good let's go back and uh, change that to 70 or minus 70 whichever one that you've got and uh, if you notice if you're sharp and noticed it we've got some interference right there okay uh, which brings me to another thing that we can look at and this is just kind of a intro thing to you so if we go to view and we're going to change over to a wireframe okay and let me flip to my front view now it's quite obvious that we've got interference there okay um but one way to do that on the inspect tab if you go analyze interference you can define your your parts And, I mean, it's quite obvious that we've got interference on this one. Uh, but if you have a, a model or something going on, you, maybe you can't see or it's hard to tell just because it's very complex, that tool can help you a lot there with that. Okay. Now we're going to do some, uh, some motion analysis. So let's go back to uh, solid. And... You remember our uh, our angle constraint that we had going on over here? Let's go to that angle constraint and right click it and go drive. And this gives us the opportunity to put motion to our assembly. So we're gonna start at zero degrees and end at 360. Okay, now our buttons down here is kind of like a video player, okay? So we're going to go to uh, to minimum, which will go to the starting point. And I'm going to flip up so that I'm looking right at the front view. And now I'm going to go uh, forward. I'm going to hit the play button. Okay, and it's going to move around. Uh, yours may be going the opposite direction. Uh, that's okay, too. It's all right. And so now let's flip up to top view. 
and we'll play it in reverse this time. Okay. Um, now let's uh, let's make a little change here, and if you'll expand this button right here to show the more button. Uh, let's flip back around to our front view. Now I can go uh, collision detection. And let's hit play. Boom. And then it stops because it we had some collision going on right there. Okay. But see, it didn't continue going. It stopped immediately when we had the collision. So let's uncheck that. Go back to our starting point. And I want to speed this up just a little bit, and we'll go to uh, two revolutions. And I just I just change the values right here a little bit. Okay, now let's play it. All right, so it goes a little faster. And it'll go through two complete revolutions there. Wasn't that cool? All right, and we're going to do more with that uh, in in just a little bit. But first of all, we need to edit. We need to edit this part. Um, let me turn these planes off right here. That's a little annoying seeing those things all the time. All right, I want to edit this. I got to make that slot larger. And then we're going to edit the rod here also. So I'm going to double click that. Uh, let's see, it was extrusion two. I'm going to edit my sketch. Um, I want to make that 3.75. Okay. And then notice it, it, it changed it both ways, up and down, because of the way we had it dimensioned right here in our original sketch. Okay. And we're going to return back. Now the rod here. Same thing, I want to edit my sketch on it. I want to make that 11 inches long. All right, and everything should have updated. So let's get a good, uh, good view here. And let's go back and uh, drive this constraint again. Zero to 360. Collision detection, yes. Minimum and play. Okay, so we got no no collision detection there. All right, so that was good. I'm gonna slow it back down. Just so I can watch it as it's going around. And then you can you can still do some 3D orbiting in here. It may it may interfere with your rotation a little bit, or maybe that's my video stuff. And you can get a good view of your uh, of your part as it's going through there. All right, I'm gonna stop that. All right, now what I want you to do to finish this up, let's go to our our front view. Set it to zero, 360 to minimum. Okay. Uh, we can turn that off. Let's set this back to three. <clears throat> two units, yes. Two repetitions. But we want to record this and make a video of it. So we're going to hit the record button right here. <clears throat> and you're going to give it a name. It'd be a WMV file. We're going to go broadband. We can go 640 by 480. That's cool. And then we're going to go OK. And now when you hit play, it is going to record that as a video. All right. And then that popped back up. And so now we can close that. We can cancel out of that.